So last week's Overwatch League, we got to see two very surprising picks go to the May Melee from the North American region, that being the Florida Mayhem and Dallas Fuel, as opposed to being Justice and Shock, or Justice and Outlaws, like most people probably predicted. As well as seeing Chengdu, who is an obvious pick, and Shanghai, who a lot of people have kind of lost faith in to make it to the May Melee, especially. But here we are, it is the May Melee starts today, tonight, actually. Uh, the first match of the day is going to be Shanghai and the Florida Mayhem. I'm giving it to the Shanghai Dragons. Florida, while they're not that terrible of a team, putting them against someone like the Dragons, who has players like Fleta, Lip, Fate, Vijay Gong, and Izayaki, you have such a strong set of players on the team compared to BQB... OGE and Yaki. Plus, Fate and OGE. Fate is a much better main tank than OGE, in my opinion, especially on the Winston. Uh, and then Florida not really being able to perform well, if good at all, on the Ryan Rush compositions, while Shanghai can run Fate on the Reinhardt. Florida has to deal with OG's mediocre Reinhardt play. That's going to be the big factor is if Shanghai can keep them on Ryan Rush or just going all out and using fate on the, on the Winston to just dominate the Florida Mayhem. That's going to be the huge factor in that match. Uh, Dallas and Chengdu. This is going to be a big theme of the, of the May Melee of Dallas and Chengdu. Two, probably the two strongest teams going into the uh, tournament this year. And two massive stories going on here as well. You have Chengdu, who is finally able to perform well. And to actually be able to play the meta. And then on the other hand, you have Dallas, who started really high up on uh, in Season 1. Not, not the best team, but definitely not a bad team. And it just kind of went downhill from there. But now they're back up right at the top with surprising plays from their DPS line that is lacking a hit scan. So right now it's more or less in the situation of Justice was entering Grand Finals of they have this compositions. They have these compositions that they can run. But will Chengdu be able to counter it? During the tournament. And I feel like they're going to get close to it. The start of this match. They're going to get close to it. But I feel like Dallas is just going to be too strong for them to to beat. I feel like they're going to deny a reverse sweep from Chengdu personally. Uh, Dallas will go up 2-0. Then Chengdu comes back. Takes two maps. And then the final map of control. Dallas takes the match home. Which leads us into the First round of the elimination round, Chengdu in Florida easily, in my opinion, Chengdu's got this. Florida, again, not a terrible team, but Chengdu is just way too strong right now, in my eyes, to be look to lose a map to Florida Mayhem. So then our next match, Shanghai and Dallas. I think that Fate and Fearless going against each other. I feel like they're, the double bubble compositions is going to be what Shanghai is going to want to play. And if they can keep playing that, I feel like they can beat them. Because Fearless, really strong Reinhardt. Also a pretty strong Winston. But I feel like Fate might have the upper hand there. Just by a little bit. Not by much, by a little bit. And I feel like that could really catapult the team to taking at least a map off of Dallas. But I don't see Shanghai being able to win this at all. Chengdu and uh, Shanghai, it's going to be a repeat from Shanghai and Chengdu the previous time they've faced off. 3-0 from Chengdu. Shanghai might take a map off, but I feel like 
just the way that Chengdu beat Shanghai, it's just I don't feel like Shanghai is going to be able to beat Chengdu really at all this year. Uh, it might be some close matches towards the end of the year, but I feel like Shanghai's biggest issue right now is fate. Fate's a good player. However, I don't feel that he is really in tune with the team right now, and that's also my issue with what I feel like the issue is with the shock and FD God. He's not both players. They're they're great players in their respective roles. However, the team that they're on isn't. They're not in tune with them in the in their team's overall play style. And I feel like after a little bit of time, Fate can get up to that level and definitely bring Shanghai back up to the top. And now that leads us to the Grand Finals. Dallas Fuel, Chengdu Hunters. Chengdu's finally going to get the upper hand against Dallas, but not after Dallas can pull off some good performances in getting two maps off of Chengdu. But I do see Chengdu taking home the May Melee Championship. This is this is going to be a close one, though. It could go either way. I feel Dallas might even just run the entire tournament and never be countered at all and then just completely wipe the field. Or Dallas could just be shut right down like I am predicting at the end of this tournament or be exactly like the way I predicted it. Where they don't get countered until the very end by Chengdu. Either way, this is gonna I'm not gonna be upset with whoever wins this. Two phenomenal teams here in Dallas and Chengdu. Easily the two best of the tournament. And having the most momentum in general as well. But we're just gonna have to see where it goes from tonight. Uh and the bracket, how it could go. I Florida may win a match or two, but Shanghai also winning a map or two. But I don't see them winning any games. Maybe winning a game against each other. Like I predicted in the start, because they have to. But other than that, Chengdu and Dallas are just looking way too strong right now to really have them lose against those two teams. But anyway, a close match is... Both matches are going to happen for this tournament. It's not going to be like the past couple weeks where it's been mostly 3-0s or 3-1s. I feel like it's going to be very competitive, very close. And we could possibly be seeing a new champion for a tournament rather than the same four winning.